Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's do the review of the Sennheiser HD uh, 350 Bluetooth headphones. And quite a few of uh, you have asked me to actually test out uh, some reputable audio brand. For example, Sennheiser is a uh, very old audio brand. This uh, is a company from uh, Germany and they do make, uh, what do you say, high-end uh, headphones, microphones, etc. For example, uh, in movies and stuff, uh, a lot of uh, Sennheiser microphones are used and stuff like that. So I thought why not test some of them and this one is one of their most affordable uh, Bluetooth uh, headphones and this is a new range at the BT350 and they also have 450 450 has act active noise cancellation this does not have and guys this is not a review unit or anything I purchased this one from Amazon and I purchased this on 26th July and I purchased it for 5900 but today when I looked at Amazon the pricing is 7490 I just wanted to be transparent about that so let's uh, look at this and I would say uh Initially, when I got it the first day, I was hugely disappointed with this one. And if it was just the first day of usage, I would have given a very low rating of just 4 out of 10 because the sound simply did not sound that good on this one. Uh, but uh, after a burn in of about almost about 12 or 13 hours, uh, the cans really opened up and then the sound signature was good. But again, I won't say this is for everyone. If you are looking for uh, that extended bass or something, then you will simply not like it this is sort of uh, for more of the purest uh, kind of a person but again it simply does not have that regular Sennheiser uh, sound signature that was very surprising to me but before uh, we talk about the sound what I liked what I did not like let's have a closer look at this and as you can see it comes in this big box over here and we also have an app uh, for both iPhone as well as Android I tested it on Android so I'll just keep the box to the side so these are the earphones and as you can see you can fold them like this and uh, by the way guys uh, no uh, case was also given in the box so nothing that you get in the box apart from this you just get a USB type C uh, charging cable so it folds in like this and uh, again the entire construction is plastic guys but the build quality is good as you can see I can flex it and it will not break so uh, the build quality is actually good and much better than some of the other headphones that are even more expensive than this one I have noticed and uh, again they swivel like this and this one also swiggles and we have quite a bit of padding here so it was comfortable to me on my ears but again guys uh, this is just a fake a leather kind of a thing so uh, what I did notice is that after you wear it uh, for about 45 minutes your ears will definitely get a little bit warm so after 45 minutes I had to just remove it for some time for five minutes and wear it again uh, so that is something that uh, you have to it's not breathable material uh, but again in terms of the comfort they were comfortable to me uh, it's not like my Bose QC 35 or the Sony uh, WH 1000 MX that I have those are even more comfortable but they cost about 25 uh, to 30 thousand so in that way it's good but one thing that I noticed is that if you look at this ear cup uh, the ear cups uh, the cavity is slightly small I would say uh, it's not a problem for my ears but again if you have a very big head again as you can see it might not cover your head fully so that is one thing that I noticed and this is very strange coming from Sennheiser so that is something that I have uh, noticed so you got to be careful with that in terms of uh, connectivity here I like this one it supports new Bluetooth 5 and also has aptX and aptX low latency and that aptX low latency is great if you have Android based smartphones uh, they use that hence I did not have that lag that generally we have with Bluetooth uh, headphones even I watched a couple of movies uh, a lot of videos I did not have that lip sync issue whereas I didn't test it with iPhone with iPhone it will uh, actually use ACC so I'm not very clear how good it will be in terms of that lip syncing but with Android it was not an issue now uh, let's go over the physical aspect and if you look at it this is the right here and here you have a lot of buttons let's start from this side this one is actually the power on off button and you actually hold it for four seconds if you want to repair it with another uh, device and the pairing process was very uh, comfortable not an issue and if you go over here you have the USB type-c port with this one and uh, 
I would say uh, the battery life is terrific on this one. The box says 30 hours, but I feel the battery life will go even beyond 30 hours because after almost about even 20 hours of usage, it's still, it was showing me around 50% uh, battery life. So I feel the battery life is a big strength of this one. Next, if you move, this is for the volume. You can uh, increase or lower the volume. For example, if you look at this, this is an interesting button. Let me actually play it back. As you can see, my phone over here, I'll just keep it here and I'll just press this it's playing music now and if I just move like this it's going to move to the next track and if you press slide it down it moves so it's very easy to navigate as you can see like this so I like that and if you want to pause the music you just press it once like this and the last button what we have is for Google Assistant and if you press it the Google Assistant will invoke on your a smartphone so uh, that's regarding the buttons and i would say the navigation is done very well on this um, uh, it takes a couple of hours to get used to it i'll just pause the music guys uh, but you get used to it very quickly and guys uh, one strange thing i notice is that nowhere it uh, is sort of written left and right so the right can cup has all the buttons don't wear it to the other side that's the mistake i did initially so in terms of buttons layout it's good and the bluetooth range is excellent excellent on this one generally with many of the bluetooth headset yes obviously it works in that room and if you just go outside the second room also some work some don't work this even worked in the third room also which is actually very rare so in terms of bluetooth connectivity uh, they have done an incredible job and in my testing i tested this with two smartphones uh, this is the uh, samsung note 10 Lite, and even on the motorola one fusion plus and i did not have any issues in terms of bluetooth connectivity so the bluetooth connectivity is very strong on this one and now let's also talk about uh, because we are doing a lot of work from home and stuff uh, we also do take calls with this one. It has an integrated microphone uh, on this one and you can take calls with this one. And I would say the call quality, I had mixed experience with this one. Uh, don't get me wrong, uh, the other parties did not complain that I was sounding muddy or something. So it looks like the microphone quality is good. But what happened is that uh, uh, the receiver's calls were sounding very unnatural. It was doing some sort of processing. So it was looking like it was coming from echo chamber. So I did not like the incoming calls. So again, I did not like it. it they should have just left it to natural. They are doing some post-processing to amplify the vocals uh, when you are, I'm taking calls, so looks like that. And I simply did not like that. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but I thought uh, you guys uh, should know that. Uh, but in terms of battery life, I know uh, because of work from home, uh, most of you are actually wearing headphones for a couple of hours. That way the uh, battery life is excellent. Now let's talk about uh, uh, one more uh, thing on this one is let's talk about the sound because we get this for sound and as I've told you right now the pricing is for 7500 so I'll take that in my mind and I checked uh, even in US generally they hover about $100 so it's almost the same price that we are getting in US. And here I had some very mixed uh, reactions with this one. Again, as I've told you guys, uh, you have to burn in uh, this one for at least uh, 10 to 12 hours. Because initially, they sounded like rubbish cans. I was so disappointed with them. But after the burn in, uh, I, I feel it opened quite a bit. But still, I would say after the burn in, now I've used it for more than 20, 22 hours, I'm assuming. And still, I would say the sound signature is not the typical sound signature that I would like from a Sennheiser. For example, in bass, yes, bass is there. It's not for bass heads. If you're thinking that you, you are a bass head and you like it, you'll absolutely hate this one. Uh, so it's not for bass heads, but I know many of people who do not like that excessive bass. The bass is there, it comes. But again, the bass is not that punchy that I have noticed. And that brings me to the mid-tones and the vocals. Here, I enjoyed it quite a bit. For example, I listened to a lot of Hindi songs also, and those sounded brilliant on them because a lot of Hindi songs have a lot of mid-range instruments and a lot of vocals. They sounded beautiful on this one. And in terms of genres of music, uh, before I talk about that, in terms of high, this was very, very surprising to me. Generally, the Sennheiser headphones, earphones, the highs are produced brilliantly on them. They they have that sparkle uh, feeling but that sparkle was simply missing on this one in fact I would say the highs were 
something that disappointed me considering it's a Sennheiser uh, because most of the Sennheiser phone, uh, what do you say, earphones, headphones have that slight sparkle on the treble end. That was missing on this one. Fortunately, uh, what do you say, by default, uh, what we had, I simply did not like it. But Sennheiser has an app, for example, let me just open it. It's a very basic app, uh, works for both Android as well as, uh, what do you say, uh, iPhones and as you can see it's got to connect a detects to uh, what do you say uh, phone it takes about a couple of seconds as you can see it detected and it shows the battery life also as I told you the battery life is one of those insane things and here we don't have a proper equalizer but as you can see you can customize this for example you can move this and this actually equalizes stuff and I had to do this with this so for example I'm just going to revert this I made some uh, by default it will be this neutral like this and here I felt that the bass and even the treble tones were slightly lacking I simply did not enjoy so I had to play around with this one and uh, I put it here and I felt it was much better my daughter actually made this profile uh, she listens to a lot of music trebles on and as you can see she had to boost up the treble quite a bit but the problem with this one is that for example if you're boosting the treble like this the others sound wave automatically adjusts to it. So it's very difficult to get the right pattern that you want. You can definitely get it. I have made some profiles here. I basically like this tre slightly boosted trebles uh, on this one and that way the sound signature improved. So I don't like the fact that the default uh, sound profile, it neither pleases uh, me on the bass end nor on the higher end. Uh, yes, the vocals and the mid tones are really good. So you have to really play with the app and get that setting right. Yes, you can do it. And I played for it uh, for a couple hours and I got the profile right. But again, it's just too much work I feel for a headphone that is costing about 7,500 to get the right sound signature. And if you are an impatient person, uh, then you will simply not like this one because it requires a lot of work. The good thing is that once you tweak the sound signature and set it, it is actually set on the headphones and I used it with another uh, what do you say phone that sound profile is automatically used so it stores that setting on the headphone so that is something that you like but again you got to play with it and if you are expecting boosted bass and something like that then this is not for you and if I have to rate this one I would rate this one at about 7 out of uh, 10 considering we don't get that typical sound signature and that sparkle on the high end that we expect from Sennheiser uh, headphones. For example, uh, to compare this one, um, I had the Audio-Technica M50X. Yes, it's not a fair comparison. That's a wired headphone and, and actually cost a little bit more, I think. So that's for 11,000. That sounded way better than this one. I enjoyed it a lot more. And I would say if you don't want to, uh, if you're on a budget, uh, I have reviewed some Sennheiser uh, uh, wired uh, uh, earphones uh, for example the Sennheiser CX 275s that's for just 1500 rupees I felt uh, I enjoyed the music a little bit more on that one because that had that typical Sennheiser sound signature so again uh, for people who do not like that excessive uh, bass mostly if you like uh, that uh, neutral sound signature you like it but again if you're expecting that typical Sennheiser sparkle on the high end uh, these might uh, not be for you. So anyways guys, uh, that's it for my review of this one. And if you guys, if you're buying this, use my link. It does help the channel. I'm buying a lot of uh, stuff myself. And if you uh, buy stuff from my affiliate link, it does help the channel. And it'll help me to uh, buy more stuff and review. Anyways guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.